Hello everyone and welcome to this video and it's Christian from Beyond Premiere and today we're diving into the mysterious and captivating world of From Season 2. We'll be breaking down episodes 1 through 5, exploring the connections between characters, events and symbols and attempting to unveil the layers of mystery that shroud this compelling narrative. We'll be trying together to piece the puzzle, connecting the dots and hopefully bring some light on the mysteries this captivating series presents. Stay tuned for a deep dive into the world of From. And let's begin. The town is a purgatory. In the town of From serves as a unique setting that adds a layer of intrigue and mystery to the narrative. It's a place where people arrive seemingly by chance but find themselves unable to leave. It raises several questions and theories about its true nature. One interpretation that a lot of people have is that the town functions as a sort of purgatory, a transitional space between two states of existence. In many cultural and religious contexts, purgatory is a place where souls undergo purification before progressing to a higher state. A drawing parallels the town could be a place where its inhabitants confront their past, face their fears and undergo personal growth or resolution. The inability of the inhabitants to leave the town might suggest that they have unresolved issues or lessons to learn. Their personal histories and the town force them to confront these aspects of their life. It's as they are stuck in this limbo until they resolve their past and are ready to move forward. Adding to this theory is the ominous presence of the monster and the mysterious symbols particularly the red drawing of a huge monster in the caves. I'm gonna go ahead and discuss that in a moment. This could represent a major fear or challenge that the town's inhabitants have faced or will face. The monster could symbolize the collective fears or traumas which come to light in the town, reinforcing the idea of the town as a place of confrontation and resolution. This brings me to the character of Randall who wants to confront his fears if in this case, the fears are the monsters, something that we saw in episode 5. With its trials, through relations, and unexpected twists and turns, the inhabitants are on a journey not just through the physical space of the town, but through their own personal narrative, their fears, and their past. The town is a purgatory-like state, serves as the backdrop for this journey, pushing the characters towards growth and understanding. The faraway tree in From introduced a fascinating supernatural element to the narrative. This tree with its ability to teleport people from one location to another is not just a physical entity but a symbol of change. In the context of the town acting as a purgatory, the faraway tree could be seen as a tool or mechanism that aids in the character's journey of self-discovery and resolution. It might represent a form of escape, not in the literal sense of leaving the town, but in the metaphorical sense of confronting different aspects of oneself or experiencing different perspectives. The teleportation ability of the tree could symbolize the sudden and unexpected changes that life often throws our way. Just as the characters are teleported to different locations without warning, we too in life often find ourselves in situations that we do not anticipate. As they all share the experience of being teleported into this town and the subsequent consequences. Boyd is connected to Martin, Victor goes through and is connected to Tabby. In relation to the town and the monster symbol in the cave, the faraway tree could also be seen as a beacon of hope or a source of challenge. I find it interesting that Father Catry faces fear of what happened with the chocolate and he then died. Just adding to this theory. Now moving into Boyd's journey through the faraway tree, when he enters the tree, he arrives in a well where his determination becomes crucial in moving forward. This significant event suggests that the tree is not merely a means of transportation but a transformative experience for the characters. In this well, Boyd encounters Martin, an old man who's chained up on the wall. The fact that Martin has survived while others in the wall have not raises intriguing questions about his role and significance in the narrative. Now, something that I've been thinking a lot through the first five episodes is the rope that Boyd used to escape the well. Now, here's what happened. The Martin is chained up in the wall. There's no way that it's possible for him to throw the rope to Boyd so that he's able to escape. Like how he did that if he is chained up to the wall. 
it connects to the information that I'm going to go ahead and discuss now that this metaphorical aspect of the robe that Boyd sees becomes compelling when considering a symbolic meaning. The robe could represent his inner strength. It signifies the support and motivation that push him forward in the face of adversity. The connection between Martin and the robe raises an uh, intriguing possibility. It suggests that there will be more to Martin's character than we initially meets the eye and his presence could hold crucial clues to understanding the town mysteries. Morgan. Never mind. That's just something that I, I noticed and I want to go and discuss. But what are your thoughts on that? Leave your comments below. Now, if you're liking this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I continue to do videos on Frown Season 2. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Now, it, this raises question about who built this place and why Martin was put in the wall in the first place. How did he manage to survive? All this time he says that he was so long does the worms that he have in his arm allow him to survive this long if this is the case will it happen to Boyd as well so many questions and I know a lot of answers the conversation within him and Boyd to some light on their connection Martin as if Boyd is from the town and as we know he was a marine something that the character Boyd was as well moving into our next point which is Kelly and Brian. Now, Boy's character in season two carries the weight of his past experiences. These experiences have undoubtedly left a deep impact on him, shaping his worldview and influencing his actions in the present. The parallel between the tragic death of Kelly and the eerie coincidence of the name Brian Kelly adds another layer to Boy's journey. In his conversation with Donna back in episode three, Boy shares a haunting story from his time in Iraq. He recounts the death of Corporal Brian Kelly, someone he held in his arms. This traumatic event left Boyd grappling with guilt and the profound impact of someone's last moments. The coincidence of the name Brian Kelly being a relationship, Kelly and Brian, resurfacing in the town as a haunting twist. The tragic death of Kelly in the town as well serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the horrors that can unfold in the episodes ahead. The caves, as we know, serve as a mysterious and significant location in the show. It holds secrets, ancient drawings, and potentially hidden truths about the town and its history. In this, we see a big red monster signifies a formidable and menacing force within the show. This monster may represent a powerful villain or a significant challenge that the characters will have to confront if it's not in this season in the next season. Now something that I want to go ahead and add to the drawings is that we see a boy and a girl or we see two little cartoons drawings <laughs> and they're holding hands. This is the same boy and girl that we see Tavi seeing in the cave. The symbol that Jay sees and people around it like they're idolizing the symbol so it represents how people or the monster love this dark symbol. As we know, there's light in the show as well, the boy in white. Right now, as we can see, the show is really focusing on the negative energy of everything that is happening around them. But through the darkness, there's light, there's peace and comfort and safety, something that we can see in the lighthouse, something that we can see in the boy in white, helping Victor, helping Sarah. So there's light in all of this. But what is interesting about the show, those characters that are more weak, to the darkness are the ones that are going to be affected. The character of Christopher, the character of Jade, as he continues to see the symbol. Boy's wife, as we know, she was consumed by the symbol or by the darkness. There's some magic as well. Like you get, you know, the dark energy goes through you and allows you to do bad things. Like the character of Ethan says, there's good symbols and there's bad symbols. Now, I want to go ahead and wrap it here. There's so much things about this show that I can talk and talk, but hey, I don't want to bore you. But what I'm going to do, hopefully in the next week or so, I may do a live, you know, I'm just going to take so much time to answer questions and do a, a one hour video just talking about this show. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully that is soon. We do it on this uh, on Monday, may maybe after episode six. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere and I will see you in the next one. I will see you tomorrow on my breakdown for episode six. But what are your thoughts? 
leave in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.